This is a video of a steer axle failure. And if you watch it, you'll show, it'll show you how the tr truck and the trailer react from this. This is the most dangerous type of tire failure on a steer axle. I don't know if you caught that at the very end of that video, but when a steer axle tire fails, a lot of times it will take out the hydraulics of the brakes. That's what happened in this case. And it showed the brake fluid simply running, running out after the tire that failed took out the hydraulics. Very common. Uh, if you have a truck crash, look at the tires. If a front tire has detreaded or separated or looks like it failed in any way, preserve it have somebody look at it. It will provide an additional claim for you, and um, it will certainly have contributed to causing the truck crash. Tire failures on steer axles, usually total loss of vehicle control is common. Not always as we saw, but it's very common. If the steer axle tire goes, the truck is gonna lose uh, control because it's immediate. Um, again, good truck drivers can gain, regain control. Very difficult though. Preserve the critical evidence. Again, preservation letter, but also with tire cases, you have to do more. In a tire case, you need to go to the scene of the crash and look for the tire tread, look for any components, because when a steer axle fails, a tire on a, on a steer axle fails, what you'll have is a lot of components flying apart, especially tread. You need to uh, preserve that. If you have a trucking crash involving loss of control or a lane violation of any kind, you also need to look at the tires to see whether the tires contributed to causing the crash. Spoilation letter, again, critical to everybody. Truck companies will get rid of these trucks, especially if they think there's a tire failure or product failure in a day, sometimes uh, a few days. You have to get the preservation letters uh, out locate the truck, the trailer, go interview witnesses, preserve all the remnants of the tire at the scene.